Have you ever wondered where the humble hamburger originated? Our story begins in the Middle Ages in Europe. Picture this, a world where the concept of a hamburger as we know it today was unfathomable. Instead, imagine a simple, unpretentious dish, a chopped meat patty. This early ancestor of the modern hamburger was a staple in the diets of many, a reliable source of protein that could be made from a variety of meats. But the true precursor to the hamburger as we know it today, interestingly enough, has its roots in the life of Mongol horsemen. These nomadic warriors were known for their fearsome prowess in battle, but they also had a culinary practice that would indirectly shape the course of food history. The Mongol horsemen, in their travels across the vast Eurasian steppe, would place raw meat patties under their saddles. The constant pressure and heat from the horse's back would tenderize the meat, breaking down its tough fibers. This made it not only easier to eat but also conveniently ready to consume even while on the move. Over time this practice of tenderizing meat was adopted and refined by many cultures. It ultimately made its way to the bustling ports of Germany, specifically to the city of Hamburg. Here it evolved into the Hamburg steak, a dish of chopped, seasoned, and molded meat that was then cooked. The Hamburg steak was a hit. It offered a hearty, satisfying meal for dock workers and sailors alike. Its popularity spread and it became a beloved dish in its own right. But it was not yet the hamburger we know today. That transformation would come later, in a new land across the Atlantic. So the journey of the hamburger begins not in America but in Europe. Interesting, isn't it? But how did this European dish find its way to America? Well, the answer lies in the Great Migration of the 19th century. As thousands of Germans set sail for the New World, they brought with them not only their hopes and dreams, but also their culinary traditions. One such tradition was the Hamburg steak, a dish that was as simple as it was delicious. At this time, Germany was undergoing significant changes. Industrialization was rapidly transforming the landscape, and many people found themselves seeking better opportunities abroad. So, they packed their belongings, said their goodbyes, and embarked on a journey that would change their lives and, unknowingly, the culinary landscape of America. As these German immigrants arrived in America, they found themselves in bustling ports. New York, in particular, was a melting pot of cultures and cuisines. Amidst the noise and the chaos, the German immigrants began to make their mark. They opened restaurants and food stalls, and among the dishes they served was the Hamburg steak. This simple dish quickly gained popularity. Its rich, meaty flavor was a hit among the port workers who needed a hearty meal to fuel their long days. It was served on its own sometimes with a side of potatoes or bread, but regardless of how it was served, the Hamburg steak was always a crowd favorite. As word spread about this delicious and satisfying dish, more and more people began to try it. The Hamburg steak became a common sight in the ports of New York, and it wasn't long before it began to spread to other parts of America. So, as the German immigrants settled into their new lives, they unknowingly sowed the seeds for a culinary revolution. Their beloved Hamburg steak was about to take on a new form and become an iconic part of American cuisine. And so the Hamburg steak made its way to America but it was not yet the hamburger we know today. So when did the Hamburg steak become the hamburger you may ask? The late 19th to early 20th century marked a pivotal period in the evolution of the humble Hamburg steak into the modern hamburger we know and love today. However, pinning down the exact person who first had the idea to place this ground beef delight between two slices of bread, is a matter of some dispute. Let's start with Louis Lassen, a Danish immigrant who ran a small lunch wagon Lewis's Lunch in New Haven, Connecticut. Legend has it that Lassen served up the first hamburger in the United States in the early 1900s. A customer in a rush asked for a quick, easy-to-eat meal. Lassen thinking on his feet grilled a ground beef patty and sandwiched it between two slices of toast, creating a portable, convenient, and delicious meal. Yet the claim to the first hamburger doesn't stop with Lassen. Enter the Menches brothers. The story goes that during the 1885 Erie County Fair, the brothers ran out of pork for their sausage patties. In a pinch, they substituted beef, and the hamburger was born, or so they claim. But wait, there's another contender. Fletcher Davis, a potter from Athens, Texas, is said to have sold a ground beef sandwich at his pottery shop in the late 1880s. Davis then brought his creation to the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair, where it was a hit. Each of these stories carries its own charm and a sense of authenticity, but regardless of who we credit for the creation of the hamburger, it's undeniable that this simple yet satisfying food item has left a lasting impact. 
It was the solution to a need for quick, handheld, and filling meals during a time of rapid industrialization and urbanization. The birth of the modern hamburger may be disputed, but its popularity was not. From Lewis's lunch wagon to global fast food chains, the hamburger has become an iconic symbol of American cuisine, loved by many around the world. What turned this simple sandwich into an American icon? Let's delve into the mid-20th century and see how the hamburger skyrocketed to fame, thanks to the rise of fast food chains. The first on the scene was White Castle, founded in the early 20s in Wichita, Kansas. Their strategy? Selling small, square-shaped burgers, or sliders, at an affordable price. But it wasn't just about the cost. White Castle was among the first to introduce the concept of fast food, with their efficient assembly line cooking method. They made it possible for people to grab a quick, tasty meal on the go, and America ate it up. Then came McDonald's in the 40s, taking the fast food concept to a whole new level. They revolutionized the food industry with their speedy service system, an assembly line method of preparing food that made their burgers even quicker to serve. This innovation not only made the hamburger a staple of the American diet, but it also set a new standard for fast food chains globally. But the hamburger's influence didn't stop at the drive through it became a symbol of American cuisine, an icon of fast food culture worldwide. It was more than just a sandwich, it was a piece of America that could be packaged, sold and enjoyed anywhere in the world. It was featured in movies, sung about in songs, and even became a symbol of American prosperity during the Cold War. The hamburger was no longer just a meal, it was a cultural phenomenon. And let's not forget its role in social gatherings. From backyard barbecues to fast food joints, the hamburger has been at the heart of American social life. It's the food we bond over, the comfort food we crave, and the quick meal we grab on a busy day. It's ubiquitous, it's delicious, and it's distinctly American. From a humble sandwich to an American icon, the hamburger's journey is truly remarkable. And as we'll see in the next scene, the story of the hamburger is far from over. So where does the hamburger stand today? The hamburger, once a symbol of quick and simple sustenance, has transformed into a culinary canvas for chefs and food enthusiasts worldwide. From gourmet versions gracing the menus of high-end restaurants, to the classic fast food staple we've all come to know and love, the hamburger has proven its versatility time and again. We find ourselves in an era where the hamburger has been redefined and reimagined. It's not uncommon to find hamburgers with exotic ingredients like foie gras, truffles and even gold leaf. Take for instance the Fleur Burger 5000, served at Fleur in Las Vegas, which comes with a hefty price tag of $5000, making it one of the most expensive hamburgers in the world. But it's not just about decadence and luxury. The hamburger has also adapted to the growing demand for healthier and more environmentally friendly food options. The rise of plant-based burgers is a testament to this. Companies like Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat have revolutionized the burger scene with their plant-based alternatives, offering the same taste and texture as traditional beef patties, but with less impact on the environment. The hamburger's versatility goes beyond its ingredients. It's a dish that can be enjoyed in a myriad of ways, whether it's at a backyard barbecue, a quick lunch on the go, or a fancy dinner at a gourmet restaurant. Its ability to adapt and evolve has secured its place in the hearts and stomachs of people around the world. And yet, Despite all these variations and transformations, the essence of the hamburger remains the same. It's still that comforting and delicious combination of a juicy patty sandwiched between two pieces of bread that we've come to love. From the Mongol horsemen to the fast food chains, the humble hamburger has taken quite a journey. And who knows where it will go next? The hamburger, it seems, is not just a dish, but a symbol of our culinary evolution, constantly adapting to our changing tastes and preferences.